Hi everyone, uh, I'm Matt Johnson and welcome to the Controlling 2014 webinar series. Uh, for the past 11 years I've worked in the aerospace defense sector in various materials management roles in the SAP environment. Those roles have included stockroom clerk, inventory analyst, materials planner, and program manager. I've also recently authored a book on the SAP materials management titled SAP Material Master, a practical guide, as Alice has just mentioned. And I'd like to share some tips about SAP materials management that I've picked up over the years. Today I'll be presenting five basic but useful tips for buyers and planners using SAP materials management. While these tips are basic materials management concepts, you will find more advanced tips and examples within my text should you become interested. So, uh, Let's get started. Uh, buyers and planners are at the front lines of materials management, so your roles are critical to ensuring both daily and long-term operations run smoothly and cost-effectively. In order to do this, you need a tool that gives you the ability to control these critical tasks at a personal and user level. SAP fortunately offers this solution through proper management of a material master. While there are many, many features available to you in the Material Master, here are five basic tips that will help you to succeed. But first of all, and Alice, I might need your help with this, uh, we're going to take a poll. So uh, before we begin, I'd like to get a feel for the type of audience that we have today. So a kind of critical question to you is, uh, how many of you have the authority to make changes to the Material Master? <laughs> 